and welcome to Rutchley Head. The idea for today is we're here for a sunrise. I'm not sure if we're going to get it, especially sitting here. The forecast was so so, but sitting looking to the east, we've got a lot of cloud in that direction. But because we've got a high wind, the clouds are moving quite swiftly from um, left to right along this beach. We've got the lighthouse just offshore and uh, we've got an incoming tide so I'm probably going to play with some long exposures uh, and just see what we can, we can get, try and get some movement in the waves. Uh, it, there's a decent swell sort of running into the beach so that's my aim and uh, we'll just go and get on with it and see what we can get this morning. For the, the shot that I've just taken, um, I found there's a little bit in front of me, I'll show you in a second. It's all bobbled and rippled sand. We've got the lighthouse just behind it with the waves rolling in. I'm shooting quite wide, I've been shooting at basically 24 mil um, and I've got a 0.6 hard edge grad on the front um, to go down at the horizon. I'm not, it covers the lighthouse but you can't have everything. Um, just to bring detail back into the sky because it's actually quite a nice woody sky there's detail in the cloud but what I've done with this is a focus stacked it because I want sand which is feet in front of the camera in focus and I want the lighthouse in the background sharp I've taken two different shots so for that um, we'll put that together in, um, in Photoshop later quite like it it's sort of fairly simple, there's just sand in the foreground, the waves create, the, the breaking waves create the middle ground and then the lighthouse in the sky uh, create the background. The sort of perspective with this is quite strange. The lighthouse isn't particularly far offshore, but when you start using wide angles, um, it looks like it's absolutely miles away. Uh, I did that about a year ago. I'll show that image. Um, just, it's one of my favourites. No one really knows about your house of cards. It's here in the middle of the day, nothing much happening, but I started playing around with really long exposures. I think it's four minutes and I was shooting it at 16mm and the lighthouse is absolutely tiny in the centre of the frame and now everything else is just gone to it's just all blended into one another the waves, the sand and the sky but the lighthouse is really really sharp and I just really like it, I like the effect it's a really nice abstract um, not here to get that today because I've already got it and I don't think I can bet it so but we're, we're going to move down onto the sort of surf line shortly and, and play around. I've moved out to the surf line now and um, I'm just kind of watching. As I say, I'm, I'm here to kind of get longish exposures so what I've set up here is I've got my I've got a three stop uh, ND and I've got my 0.6 again, um, hard edge again. Again, just the sky's getting a wee bit brighter. There's a lot of nice clouds and there is movement. I might try my 10 stop, but it's going to be like minutes long. So we'll see that the clouds aren't really moving in the right direction for that. I quite like that if it's moving sort of directly towards or away from the camera, whereas here it's, it's moving more across the scene. Um, We've got no sunlight, none whatsoever, um, from the sunrise, so just just doing what my, I wasn't doing my backup plan, but my other plan is uh, long exposures. So for this one, I've had a play around and I've put my remote on just so that I can time it more with the, the waves, so I, I can press without having to touch the camera. Uh, shooting at f11 and at the moment to kind of get a, a 
proper exposure. I'm shooting it just under a second, just to try and keep that little bit of structure in the waves. They're not as big as I as I'd maybe wanted. Um, big enough. So we'll just take a few and we'll see if we get something we like out of it. tuning there. Um, I'm now, I've pushed my ISO up to 160. Uh, really, I don't have anything lighter than a three-stop ND, so I'm, I'm using the ISO to increase or decrease the shutter speed. When I was sitting at 100, I was a little bit too dark. Um, but I didn't want, to, when I started to overexpose, I was getting two, two and a half seconds, which I can do. The histogram is fairly central, so I could push it further to the right if I want, but probably as I get longer and longer shutter speeds. So I pushed the ISO up um, to bring that down. So I'm now two thirds overexposed and about a set, it's a second. But what we're also getting now is, uh, as the waves are starting to roll further up the beach, when they pull back, they're getting that white foam and it's creating lots of lovely leading lines into the, the waves and then you get the breaking waves and then the lighthouse and you actually get a really nice structured sky. So, that's it. Um, so, sit here, continue to take a few more. I've got a couple that I'm actually really happy with. So, we'll, we'll spend a bit more time here. But it's a nice morning and the sky is actually really interesting, so it was well worth taking the trip up here. No, you cannot change. Oh, no, you cannot change. I've just moved back. Um, the waves are starting to come quite a bit further up the beach, and beyond the point that I'm really sort of interested. I've got more than enough images anyway. So I, I just thought I'd come back here. Um, just behind me here, we've got all of this. This was kind of photographing, or I was using for the, the first image of the lighthouse. I quite like it, so I'm going to have a wee look around and see if I can get anything out of this as well. Back up, it's kind of churning and causing the sand to, to, 
uh, going to this pattern. Um, I put my 10 stop on. I'm going to have a go with that. I've still got a lot of cloud movement in because it's now going from behind me in that direction. Um, it's kind of a bit more of what I want. It, it's sort of it's funneling in the direction of the camera. I'm just going to sit down and set up this for uh, my exposure, get my shutter speed and whatnot. Right. At the moment, with this, with the 10 stop and whatnot, I'm uh, shooting at f16 to give myself as much depth of field as possible and that gives me a shutter speed of one, one, one thirteenth of a second which according to this timer gives me that's going to focus a minute and 18 so it's long enough but it's not overly long so I'm going to take a few and we'll see how it turns out We just finished packing up, as you can see, the, the tide's now rolling over the, the area that we were photographing earlier. So, and the sun's a bit higher, we've got a lot of blue sky, so it looks like it's going to be a lovely day. It's been a great morning, and from the northeast of Scotland, this is actually one of my favourite locations. It's absolutely fantastic. I don't really come here often enough, but at the same time, um, you kind of end up taking the same sort of shots. But, uh, there's a few others I'd like to get and they require slightly better sunglasses than we've got this morning so there'll be other trips I'm sure I should really be here a bit more often I think it's a year since I've been last year I hope you've enjoyed this you get to see it in other part with a sort of unique lighthouse you can actually walk out to it on low tide if you wish I've never been up here on low tide so I've never been able to walk out to it but uh, yeah Thanks for watching, and uh, if you haven't done so already, I, get, I keep saying this, but it would be really appreciated if you could subscribe and just do that down below. And I hope to see you again at the next video. Bye bye for now.